Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here. Welcome to part three of my brutal, to me, eyeshadow palette declutter. In this video, I am going to be going through brands M through Z. In the beginning of the video, I missed a few from some of the other brands before the letter M. And I didn't put the M's in part two because that video was already long enough at the end of this video. I will be giving you all of the details. How many I decluttered. How many I depotted. How many I've sold. How many are going into the Macari store. Which some of those I've already sold as well. What the monetary value of all of those things are. And how many palettes... I ended up with, at the time of doing the declutter series, and how many palettes I have now in August. So let's get into it. Alright, so I have to backtrack a little bit because I missed some. But y'all, I had all of these palettes in two totes <laughs> because I moved rooms and I wanted to get the declutter done before I put the palettes back up on my shelf. So I was trying to put them in alphabetical order. It's It's been a journey. So one of the palettes that I missed is this Lancome. This is the Hypnos palette. This was sent to me as a gift. And I'm totally making a mess. Sent to me as a gift from Lancome. Very pretty little palette. Well, that goes on the other side. Leanna, pay attention. It did perform nicely. I think that I will keep that. I have this little palette that I ordered. Or actually, I think I got this in PR2 from... She Glam. This is, I can't even pronounce it, y'all. It's a very pretty little palette. I have not used it, and I don't think I will. I think that I will declutter that and pass it on. I missed three Jeffree Star palettes. The Jeffree Star Ranch which is a beautiful palette. I will be keeping that. And the little mini orgy. I will be keeping this as well because my daughter gifted this to me. And I also missed the Pricked palette. Cute packaging. Despise it. <laughs> I just don't like this big chunky packaging, but it's cute. But I am going to declutter this one as well. Okay, back on track. We're in the M's. Mora, this is Soul of Fire. I bought this from their website. It's a very pretty palette. I believe I may have used it one time. And it's... It's very pretty, but this design behind the palette is very distracting when you're doing your makeup. I know that that might sound kind of crazy, but I think I'm going to declutter that one. And this is Daydreamer. I got this, I believe, in an ice cream beauty box. Very pretty palette. When I did a look with this, it turned out very well. But I have other palettes that... I'm more interested in, and so I think that I will declutter this one. Oh shoot, I'm not on track. I miss this Gourmand Girls X Cosmic Peaches. This is the Power Palette, and I remember I got this in an ice cream beauty box, and I remember doing a look with this, and I loved it, so I will be keeping that. Okay, moving on to Morphe. I have three Morphe palettes. I have the Jacqueline Hill Dark Magic palette. I have not used this palette, and I won't. That will be decluttered. The Morphe Madison Beer palette. This is a very pretty palette as well. I've never used it, and I probably won't. So I'm just going to go ahead and declutter that one as well. 
This is the Fall into Frost palette. This was one of my very first palettes that I bought at Ulta. When I first started my journey, I love this palette. Love the shimmers in this palette. And it's very nostalgic for me, so I will definitely be keeping that. NARS. I had this palette because I got it in a, in a subscription box. It's a very pretty palette, and I have never used it. I swatched it, so I'm going to keep it so that I can give it a try. Moving on to Natasha Denona. These are my little mini palettes. I will be keeping all of these. This is the Mini Metropolis. The Mini Starlet palette. Cupid. This one came in a BoxyCharm or a Ipsy by BoxyCharm and the shadow was broken. I've repressed it. This is Fets. This is Eyeshadow Palette 5 and then it says Palette 03. It doesn't really have a name. This was in a BoxyCharm box. This is the Peak Palette. This is the Ayana Palette. This is the Coral Palette. This is the Cranberry Palette. And this is the Jubilee Palette. I saw Debutante use this palette and the look that she created was absolutely stunning. Moving on to my mid-size palette. Isn't that what they're called? This is the Glam Palette. Love this palette. I've used this palette a lot. I'm not decluttering any of these either. This is the Love Palette. Beautiful. The Retro Palette. The Zendo Palette. The Yucca Palette. This is a Glam Face Palette. And it is in the shade Deep, I believe. Dark. And I have yet to use this palette. I've swatched it, but not used it. The My Dream Palette, which is beautiful. And the Sunset Palette. It has the Shade Saver that's attached. Very nice packaging. Moving on to Nomad. I have already decluttered some of my Nomad palettes. Friends, do not send help. I am okay. <laughs> Starting out with these three little palettes, this is the Nomad X Toscana. It's a little nine pan palette. It's very pretty. I'm going to keep that. This is the Lago di Como. That's a very pretty palette too. I think I will keep that one. This is the Home for the Holidays palette. And it is all shimmers except for that black matte. And for me, this is not a standalone palette, but I may depot this one, so I think I will keep it and depot it. Next is my Berlin Underground. I love this palette, and I am keeping that. This is the Paradise Islands palette. It's very pretty, but it's very pastel-y which is not really my thing. I believe that I did a collab video with Andy from Andy Does Stuff with this palette. I am just not in love with this palette. I, I think I'm going to declutter this one. The Haunted Europe. This is a beautiful palette as well. I don't believe that I've ever used it. I have not. But I am going to keep it and get some use out of it. 
the Ghost Town USA palette. This as well is a very pretty palette. And it's kind of hit or miss, actually. I think I will keep it and try to use it again, but if it does not perform well the second time I use it, then I will declutter that. This is Iceland Fire and Ice. I have not used this palette either. It as well is a very pretty palette. I just don't know if I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to declutter this one. This is the Feats de Province. Another beautiful color story that I have not used. I might use this one. Am I going to use it? I'm trying to be realistic here with these palettes. I'm going to say that I am not. I'm going to declutter that one as well. This is the Okavango Safari palette. This is a beautiful palette. I did a collab video with Andy from Andy Does Stuff using this palette, and I loved it. I'm going to keep that one. Nomad Cartagena Magica. I believe I have done a collab using this, and I also did a look for Christopher's birthday with this palette. I am just not in love with the color story of this palette, so I am going to declutter this one as well. Whistler's Snow Lodge. I love the color story of this one. I am definitely going to keep that. I decluttered four Nomad palettes, y'all. Who am I? Next in the ends is NYX Modern Dreamer. I actually love this palette. This is the, without the cat hair, this is the only NYX palette that I own, and I got this as a free gift with purchase. And it's actually a really good palette, so I'm going to keep it. Next is the OPV Spotlight Palette. I had this palette, I got it in a box, and I gifted it to somebody, and then somebody gifted it to me. So I feel like that I'm supposed to have it. I have not used it yet. I'm going to keep it and give it a go. I have two Pacifica palettes. This is Animal Magic. It has all the animal names, the, the shades coincide with an animal name, and then it tells you about the animal and what it means. And it is a very pretty palette. I have used it. It's not super pigmented, so I think I am going to declutter that one. And then the Love Stone palette. This as well is a beautiful palette. I do not know if the formula of this one is the same as the other one. And I love crystals and stones. Should I keep it and try it? What should I do? It is really pretty. I'm going to declutter it. I have two Persona palettes. The Identity palette and the Identity 2. I got the Identity 2, I believe, in a BoxyCharm. These are beautiful palettes. They perform very, very well. I am going to keep both of them. And now we're going to get into my Pat McGrath Labs palettes. I have quite a few. And spoiler alert, I will not be getting rid of any of these. This is the... It's so hard to find the names. This is the Mothership Rose Decadence palette. I got this at a steep discount. I actually bought one for me and one for my daughter. It is very pretty. So I am going to keep that. This is my little mini palette. I Ecstasy Sublime. This is part of my fun size pan that palette better together 
Project Pan, and I am enjoying using this. I love this dark brown shade. Put that back over there where it belongs in my projects. This is Celestial Nirvana. This is Nude Allure. Beautiful. This one is Bronze Blitz. And as you can see, I have disturbance in that. I have used this one a couple of times. I love it. This one is new to my collection. I got this Black Friday, I believe. And then I had Buyer's Remorse after I bought it. This is the Bujo Brilliance Eyeshadow Palette in Lunar Nightshade. But it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, yeah, I'll be keeping that. I am going to throw the box away here. And now, for my Mothership palettes. The first Pat McGrath palette, and I love this packaging, is the Midnight Sun palette. It's a beautiful palette. This is Mothership 2 Sublime. I have not used this palette yet, but it is gorgeous. This is Moonlit Seduction. I have used this palette. So pretty. Those special shades are stunning. This is Bronze Seduction. And this is Subliminal. I have not used this palette either, but look at those shades. Gorgeous. These are in my That's Expensive Project Pan. And my last Pat McGrath palette is the Celestial Odyssey. And that's a pretty palette, too. I have not really used this palette. I am going to use it in the That's Expensive Project Pan, and then it might get decluttered. Next up is Pure X Raw Beauty Christie. I was so excited when this palette came out. And... I've used it once, and I've had it for, what, three years? So I am going to declutter this one. I have this little bitty Revlon palette, and it is stunning and terrible. <laughs> it is just terrible. It, I mean, there's just nothing there. It just does not perform at all. That's getting decluttered. R.E.M. Beauty. The packaging is really cute. This is Smitten Kitten. It's a very cute little palette. So far I have enjoyed it. I'm going to keep that one for now. I have three Rasha B. Cosmetics palettes. Beautiful. Well, let's start with Beautiful 1. Those shades are stunning. I have never used them, but they are beautiful. Beautiful too. I'm going to keep both of those. And this is the Bonfire eyeshadow palette. And it's really pretty, but... I just have no desire to use this palette, so I am going to declutter that one. I have one Rude Cosmetics palette. I picked this up at Marshall's. This is the Rude Japanese Anamime Magic Anamime. What is it? Is that the name of it? Magna Anime. This is book two. And 
I don't know why I bought this other than that I wanted to try Rue Cosmetics, but I have no desire to use this palette, so I will be decluttering it. This is the Saints, Angels, and Sinners Yummy Palette that I got in an Ice Cream Beauty box. Very pretty palette. This is the only palette that I own from the brand. I am going to keep that. This is Saucebox Cosmetics The Moon Palette. I got this in a subscription box as well. It's a pretty palette. I've not used it. I have swatched it. I do want to try it. But this may end up in a future declutter. And now we're going to go into my Sigma palettes. And I am 99.9% .9 positive that I will not be decluttering any of these. I love my Sigma palettes. This is the Ivy palette. Jewels. Ritzy. These are such good little palettes, y'all. This is Spicy. Earthy, which is right up my alley except for the camera does not want to focus. This is Electric Pink and Hazy. I love these little nine pan palettes. Moving into my larger palettes, I have the Ambiance palette. This was gifted to me by Tina from Tina H. Beautiful Journey. Keeping that. The Sigma Untamed. And I kept that because it's just cute. Beautiful palette. This is one of those felt and it catches the cat hair. The Sigma collab with Ann Nook. This is a beautiful palette as well that I still have not used. And the Corderosa palette. Oh, look, I kept that one too because it's pretty. Beautiful palette. Next is a little She Glam palette. This is Wolf Calls. And it's a very pretty color story does not have a lot of pigment to it at all, so this one will be decluttered. Simply Posh, this is the Cozy Cabin palette, the holiday edition that I just got when it came out at Christmas time. It is so pretty. I'm, I have not used it yet, but it is definitely on the list. I'm keeping that. And then I have two palettes from Spellbound Beauty. This is an indie brand. They have a Etsy shop. Beautiful palette I have not used yet. I'm keeping. This is the Cult palette. This as well is beautiful grungy palette. I'm keeping that one as well. I have one palette from Sugar Drizzle and this is the What If I Fall. Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? You know, dragonflies. Look at how beautiful that is. Beautiful. I am definitely keeping that. Suva. These are toppers. And they're gorgeous. The color ring around the shade is what the shade is. I got this in a subscription box. I'm keeping that. Moving on to Sydney Grace. I have a lot of Sydney Grace palettes, and spoiler alert, I'm not getting rid of any of those. Either. I think I'm down into the palettes that I'm probably not going to get rid of many. This is the Raspberry Kiss. I love Sydney Grace. Their formula is amazing. It works so well on mature eyes. I just love it. 
This is the Chase Your Dreams palette. Where the Wild Things Grow. And Mountain Trail. Look at that. Beautiful. I have all three of the Tentalia palettes by Sydney Grace. This was a collab that they did with her. This is her dog that she lost. These are beautiful. The shimmers in these palettes are amazing. Beautiful. I'm keeping all of those. Enduring Love. This was one of my very first Sydney Grace palettes. Love, love, love this palette. This is what started my love of Sydney Grace. The Blessed Palette. This is a collab that they did with Mary at Glitzy Fritzy. This is a beautiful palette. Look at those shimmers. Gorgeous. The Be Mine Palette. All of their color stories are just gorgeous. More Sydney Grace. This is Heaven on Earth. Look, I haven't even taken that out of the sleeve. Heaven on Earth palette. Love's Journey. This is the Tiny Marvels palette. This was the collab that they did with Mel Thompson. I won this palette from Crystal at Real Lady Electrician. And this is the Unbreakable Bond palette. Beautiful. Moving on to Too Faced. I have the Chocolate Bar palette. I've had this palette for a long time. And it still smells like chocolate. I'm undecided on this palette. I think I will keep it and use it, and it may end up in a future declutter. This is the Sweet Peach palette, and it is one of my daughter's favorite palettes, and she told me that I had to have it, so I bought it, and I have not used it yet. It smells peachy. I got this at a really good price, so I'm keeping that. This is the Natural Nudes palette, Born This Way. This is a beautiful palette. I don't believe that I've used it. Maybe I did. That kind of looks like I might have. But I got this at a very good discount as well. The Cinnamon Swirl Palette. So pretty. Smells like cinnamon. I don't think I've used this one yet. I think I've swatched it. But I will be keeping that. And this is the Natural Lust palette, and when I saw this, I lusted after it really, really hard because it was just so, so, so pretty. And now I don't know. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to declutter this one because I have so many other beautiful palettes that I would reach for before I reached for this one. And that makes me sad because I love the packaging. The Peacock, that reminds me of Ash. I missed an S. This is Spoiled Cosmetics, and this is Romantic Getaway. Oh, that's interesting. Look at how it changed color. Hmm. It's very chalky. I think I'm going to declutter this one. I decluttered this in my first declutter. And somehow it ended up back in the pile. Moving on to Tarte. I have quite a few Tarte palettes. This is the Man Eater palette. I bought this when it came out. It is a beautiful color story. And I used it and I wasn't super impressed. 
I think I'm going to declutter this one. This is the Sunrise palette, and I got this in a BoxyCharm, I believe. And it's a very pretty color story, but I have all of those shades somewhere else. So I am going to declutter this one as well. And then I got these three in a bundle. This is Little Juicy. They're so pretty. Little Toasted. And Little Bloom. And see, that one kind of looks like the one I just decluttered, but I'm going to keep all three of these. These two came in a pack. This is Gilded, and this is Glamour. And I do not believe I, I have not used these, but they're very pretty. If the camera will pick them up, there we go. Very pretty. I love those shimmers. That one's pretty as well. That looks like possibly some of these others. Let me open them both up and no. Some of these look like they might be a little bit the same, but it's just one. Nope. Again, maybe this one. Okay, I think that I'm going to keep both of those. And then I have the Young Wild and Cruelty Free Palette. This is Unleashed. Beautiful packaging. Beautiful palette. I kept the shade saver on that one because it was so pretty. Pretty palette. Never been used. How sad. My palettes are all sad and lonely. But 2024 is their year. I'm going to keep that one. And then the Tardis Pro Remix. I have not used this palette either. It's a very pretty palette. That design in the back again is distracting to me. But I do want to give it a try. It smells so good, y'all. This might end up in a future declutter. Next up is this Touch and Soul Glodiant Makeup Palette. It is very pretty topper-like. I actually did a whole look with this on my eyes. Very, very pretty. I am unsure what I want to do with that. I think for now I'll keep it. That may be decluttered in a future Declutter. This is the Trace Loose Midnight Desos. It's a very pretty palette, and I loved the look that I did with it, but I will not reach for this palette. Pretty packaging, but I'm going to de declutter that. I have two You Can Be palettes. This is a dupe for one of the Huda Beauty palettes. And I got this in a subscription box. I'm going to declutter this. The You Can Be formula is nice, but I don't need two. And I decluttered this last time. As a matter of fact, it's not even on my list. I don't know how it got back in the stack. But this is a very pretty palette. And I, I'm assuming that I kept it because <laughs> Christopher bought this palette for me when I first started my YouTube channel so that I would be able to do an unboxing and, and do a makeup tutorial. So it kind of has a soft spot in my heart. 
but I don't know y'all I know I'm not going to use it and, and he doesn't care <laughs> so I think I'll declutter it I picked up this little Ulta palette this is Sunset Skies because it was in the bin at the register and it was on sale it is terribly difficult to open <laughs> Lord have mercy, I can't get it open. There we go. I have not used it. I bought it because I wanted to see what the Ulta formula was like. And I have not tried it to see what the formula is like. So I think I will keep it and give it a try. And it may end up decluttered at a later date. Moving on to Unearthly Cosmetics. One of my favorite brands. This is the In the Dark palette. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I have not used this yet, but I will because I love Unearthly. This, this is, says Alien, but they have rebranded to Unearthly. One of my favorite brands. Love their formulas. So I'm keeping that. This is the Leather and Lace. You see it says Unearthly. Love this palette. Beautiful grungy palette. And my favorite, the Not Normal palette, when they were alien. And this color story looks very odd, but... It is beautiful. It's just a beautiful palette. And this is the Dead of Night palette. And my daughter bought this for me for my birthday. And I have not yet been able to throw the, the box away. But this is a beautiful palette. And I have used this. I did a look with it since she gave it to me for my birthday. I am keeping this as well. I have two Oma Beauty palettes. This is the Black Magic Freedom palette. I love the packaging. Very pretty palette. I understand that the shimmers are to die for. I have not used it yet, but I'm keeping that. And I saw this little, this is Oma Beauty by Sharon C. And this little palette was at Walmart so I picked it up to give it a try and it's fine not a color story that I will use I just picked it up to see what it was like and so I will be decluttering this one moving on to Urban Decay this is my Prince palette I know I am not going to declutter this because I loved Prince I love that it has that raised symbol on it and that it's purple. Very pretty. I have not used it. I don't know if I will. I may keep it just because I don't think I will be decluttering any of my Urban Decay. This is Naked 3. It's a very light palette. But I believe this older formula is better than what their currently what their current formula is. So I do want to keep this and give it a try. This is the Naked Cherry. Very pretty as well. I have not used that. My daughter influenced me to buy those. <laughs> the Wild Greens. This is very pretty as well. I don't know if I will use this one. I am tempted to declutter it. I think I'm going to declutter this one. That's a shocker. Then we have Naked Honey. This was the start. My daughter told me that I needed this palette. 
It is a very warm palette, and I do lean more towards the cool shades. But I think I will keep this for now. It may end up in a future declutter. This is Naked Reloaded. This one is very pretty as well. I have not used it, but I intend to. They were really stuck on the whole naked thing, weren't they? Naked Heat. <laughs> I have not used this one either. I have not used any of these Urban Decay palettes. This reminds me of the Melt Rust palette. I will have to compare those. And if they are similar, one of them will probably get decluttered. And the Naked Wild West. I know I'm keeping this one because that's a very unique color story. Very pretty. I have quite a few Violet Voss palettes. I have the Coral Crush. I have not used this palette, and I think I'm going to declutter this one. I have the All of You Forever palette, and I know I am definitely keeping this one because I love that. The Pinky Promise. That's pretty, but it is not speaking to me. I feel like I have some of those shades and other palettes, and it just doesn't excite me, so I'm going to declutter that. This is my newest Violet Voss palette, Cool Vibes. Oh my goodness. I love this palette. I am definitely keeping that. Berries and Cream Dreams. This is a very pretty palette. I feel like I have these shades and other palettes as well. I think I got this in a subscription box. I think I'm going to declutter that one. This is Matte Vibes to go along with the cool vibes and it's a very pretty palette it has not been used and this kind of reminds me a little bit too of some of the urban decay and the melt color stories but i think i will compare and this might end up in a future declutter the Violet Voss Taupe Notch Palette. I love this palette. It's beautiful. Even though it does kind of remind me of the Lorac Meraki Palette. But even still, I'm going to keep it. I have three Viseart palettes. This is the Minix. I can't pronounce it. Indi 2. It's a very pretty palette, and I've never used it. And I believe that I have tried some of the Viseart formula, and I don't know, maybe there was something wrong with that palette, but I just wasn't crazy about it. This is really pretty, though. Should I keep it? What should I do? I think I will keep that one. It might end up in a future declutter, but I'm going to keep it for now. And this is the Violet in the two in 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 et et to do <laughs> ah, yep and this one is beautiful look at those purples why have i not used these palettes i do not know and this is the bridal satin and it is gorgeous it is gorgeous look at how pretty that is I am going to keep that one too. These are my little Wet n Wild palettes that came in the 
in the little bundle. What was that bundle called? They are they were limited edition. Oh gosh, I can't remember what it was called. But a couple of my employees surprised me by buying that whole set and giving it to me in a box. It was all boxed up with the note that I had to open the box on camera and use the products inside. So this was when I first started my channel. Like that video is so old and so terrible. <laughs> So these hold a very special place in my heart, and I am going to keep them. They are very nice palettes, and I did just recently use them in one of my panning projects, but I am definitely keeping them for nostalgia. And I have this little Wet n' Wild color icon. This is Lucky Charm, and I do not like this palette. When I saw the color story, I was like, oh, look how pretty that is. But I, it just does not perform well, and I do not like it. I am decluttering that. I have a Wayne Goss palette. I just got this, I believe, during Black Friday. And Wayne Goss had been on my list for a very, very long time. And I used it, and I wasn't super impressed, but I am going to keep it and give it another shot. And maybe try some different eye primer and see how it goes. Wonder Beauty Sweet Escape. This is a very pretty palette. I have used it, and it was okay. Nothing spectacular. And I think I am going to declutter this one. Here's the Wicked Widow Graveyard Smash. Every time I see this palette, I giggle at myself because when I was talking about it in the video that I used it in, I said something really funny. Wicked, Wicked Widow, Wicked Waka Haka. Mm -hmm. Yep, Graveyard Smash. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It looks a little odd, but these shades go together so well, and the look that I created with it was just absolutely stunning. So I am definitely keeping this palette. And the very last palette in my palette inventory is this Zoeva Spice of Life. And it's a very pretty palette. But, I think I swatched it, but I've never used it. And so I am going to declutter the very last palette. And now, if you stick around, I will give you all the deets of how many I decluttered, how many I'm going to depot, and what the value of my remaining inventory is what it was before, and all the things. And that, my friends, is my brutal <laughs> eyeshadow palette declutter. Why do I say that that's brutal? I know that there are other content creators who have been way more brutal than I was, but I remember when I first started this journey, and I had a couple of hundred palettes, and I thought, I will never declutter any of my palettes. They will be prying them from my cold, dead hands when they're trying to put me in the coffin. But here I am, decluttering brutally for me, my eyeshadow palettes. It's funny because as you go through your makeup journey, your taste change. You know, what you liked in the beginning as you learn and grow and you expand your abilities and your choice in formulas and textures and colors and all of those things, everything changes and you're like, yeah, I'm not so much into that 
formula anymore or that brand anymore. You know, you get to learn the brand's integrity. And sometimes you're just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not about that. Now, I know that I, I have a brand whose integrity is probably questionable by many, many people. And I do not feature that, that brand on my channel. It was a part of this declutter series and there were quite a few of that brand's palettes that I did declutter and they're in my Macari store for sale. The reason that I kept some of them, and I did say as I was keeping them, that they were gifted to me by my daughter. She loves that brand and that's why I'm keeping them. The quality of that brand is superb and I truly do believe that most of the BS that goes along with that brand is more for marketing these days than it is anything else. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into the numbers. I'm going to be looking over here at my spreadsheet. The beginning numbers for all of my palette inventory, I started off with a total of 448 palettes. I paid $8,836.03 for those palettes. The MSRP for those palettes was $15,871.72. So as you can see, even though I paid out a very large sum of money for those palettes, I did not pay full price for hardly any of them. I always wait for a good sale. Now, do most people spend that kind of money on makeup and eyeshadow palettes? Well, no, but I have a YouTube channel and most of that was bought for my YouTube channel, even though, even though some of the palettes I have not used yet, I intend to. The number of palettes that I am decluttering is broken down in this way. I decluttered 120 palettes at a cost of $1,602.45. The MSRP for those 120 palettes is $3,756.37. I am depotting nine at a cost of $137.90 and an MSRP of $235. So the total of this decluttered, depotted three-part series is I decluttered 159 palettes at a cost of $2,244.28. The MSRP was $5,189.46. I had 289 palettes left at a cost of $6,591.75 and an MSRP of $10,682.26. Now, if I get these videos edited and up, it's August. I believe that I recorded those sometime around January, so it's been a hot minute. And at the time of this recording, I currently have 303 palettes. Yes, I have bought, 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 I have bought more palettes. I'm a grown ass woman. I work hard for my money. You work hard, you play hard, and I do whatever I want to with my money. I have no shame in how many palettes I own or how much money I spend for them. I'm glad to have them. I will continue to play. And even though I have decluttered through these, I will declutter through them again. And so it goes. I hope that you enjoyed this three-part series. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about all of the numbers 
If you stuck around this long, I appreciate you. I would love it if you would show that like button some love. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in my next one. Okay? Love you. Bye.